Well, hey, uh, I'm Zach from Swords and Statutes, and from here we have a Strixhaven bundle that I got from Great Escape, which is an excellent LGS here in uh, Nashville. They have a couple other stores, and they're one of my favorite places to go look for comics and cards. And uh, they had a great deal on a Strixhaven bundle. So we're going to crack this open and uh, kind of see what we get. And I'm just going to talk about a couple other things while we do that. So, yeah. And again, you're watching this on the, oh my God, on the Curiosity Format channel, uh, which is run by Team Cat. And Team Cat is a team of streamers. Um, there's three of us currently. There is myself. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash swords and statutes. The Itta, the underscore Itta. Um, he does a lot of these unboxing videos for our channel. And then we have Mana Sultan, who is probably the best player among us. He's gotten to some of the qualifiers a couple times. He's really good at limited and is super fun to watch. So we'll check him out, the Mana Sultan as well. All right, so let's kind of take a look. I always love how they have these like random pieces of cardboard in the uh, bundles. Oh, this is kind of neat. Look at this. This is like an actual usable poster rather than some of the other ones that are just bad. Okay, cool, cool. And then uh, a little poster of the campus. This is what we're really here for. I love these boxes. And this one, always just really good quality. Let's crack it open, see what we get. Got one of these uh, like oversized dies. I, look. I have a couple of these in my office at work. I'm just waiting for someone to ask me, what do you do with those? But we'll see. Then, let's see here, we got, oh, all right, I forgot about this. We had Archmage Emeritus, a alternate art there. I think the rest of these are lands. I guess this is the, what is this? Yeah, here are the lands as well. These are the non-foil lands. I'm not going to go ahead and open those, but we will take a look at these foil lands. Let's just see how they look. But yeah, that looks really nice. Foiling is really cool. Um, wow. Oh my gosh. The Strixhaven Basics were some of my favorite in the past year, honestly. They just did a really good job with sort of making was sort of giving them a sense of place. And I, I really like that in, um, in the lands. But honestly, I'm a big fan of the, uh, of the corset lands because they're all like taken from different planes. But um, yeah, but they, they, they did a really good job on these lands as well. So we got 10 of these packs. Let me kind of set those out. And um, one of the things that we with Team Cat do, we run the Curiosity format, which is a 40 card minimum format uh, with rarity restrictions. It uses the most recent set of standard cards. And uh, you can have two rares, um, six uncommons, and a maximum of four common cards in your deck. And uh, we may try to see what we can build that. It's, it's a really fun format. We got a growing Discord and community going on. Uh, I'll link that in the description below as well. Okay, let's kind of see. Let's get in here, see what we got. Pledge Mage, man, what a what a beater of a card that is. Oh, I love the art on that too. That's one of my favorite arts. Biblioplex Assistant has not been the best, but uh, definitely a fun card. Well, those little eyes. Kind of separate these. Make your mark. Make your mark is a great trick. Um, don't really go into some of the Boros aggro decks, but definitely good. Lustrous Historian, sort of a two creatures for the price of one. Field Trip, great card with that learn mechanic. Being able to learn is just so strong in this format. And it's something that is shaping curiosity quite differently than some of the other uh, formats that we've seen recently. 
where people are changing their sideboards because of that. Serpentine Curve, man, I like that. First day of class, this is one of the most disappointing cards from the set, I think, because um, it just doesn't seem like it really has a home. It's like, okay, put a plus one plus a counter on the next creature, so you have to play this before you play the creature. It just doesn't really make sense. Whoa, and here we go, we got our first rare, Illuminate History. So, I'll take that, we got it that before we even got our uncommons. Okay, it's kind of weird, it's fine. Mortality Spear, pretty good, pretty good. Tenured Ink Caster, I like that one a bit too. An Academic Dispute, this is probably one of the better learn cards in the set. And whoa, when we got a Mythic for our rare slot here, Harness Infinity with that great Seb McKinnon art. Jeez, all right, and we do have our Mystical Archive card, Agonizing Remorse that a lot in a token. All right. Cool. Let me kind of separate our piles here. Move it to pack two. <clears throat> All right. Let me go through BDs a little bit quicker. So Litter of Acceptance, not bad. Prismari, a uh, Pledge Mage. One of the better two drops in the format. I mean, look at that guy. He's just like, I'm going to pledge so many mages. It's wild. But the uh, being a 2-2 two, two for 3, being a 3-3 three, three for 2, really strong. Elemental Masterpiece. Uh, take it or leave it. It definitely powers out the Prismari decks. But man, Pilgrim of the Ages. One of my favorite cards. I love the art. And uh, the fact that it has so much late game potential with that six man ability, really cool. Pop Quiz, one of the better learned cards. Sudden Breakthrough, definitely like that as well as a sort of a combat trick. Yeah, Spine Karak, looks like a fun little crocodile dude, but not the best. Promising Dusk Mage, I've never gotten this one to really go off. Seems way over costed. Spell. Very nice. These cards feel great too. Like they've done a really good job on the card stock here. Our elemental summoning. Let's move into our uncommons. We got necrotic fumes, which I feel like people need to be playing more of in curiosity, especially because these are going to be in your sideboard and you're going to be able to bring them in as effectively two more uncommons. So I'm looking to see that become a much more played card than it is. Expressive iteration. Not bad. Got a dog out, and what is our rare? Poet's Quill, okay. Nice, with a learn ability, pretty strong. And our rare is, or our physical archive, is Inquisition of Kozilek. Gotta love those uh, hand hate cards. And a cute little pest guy. Awesome. Let's crack open pack three here. This is this has been one of my favorite sets in like the past two years. Like I I rarely buy extra cards. Um, I usually just get what I do from my pre-release, and then I buy a bunch of stuff on Arena. But I just really like this set. It has been the limited environment is a lot of fun. The um, the art is great. Um, it is not a crushing disappointment. And um, it just, it, it feels really good to play. It's something that I did not, I was not really looking forward to the sort of on-rails drafting experience of having set categories, but they did an excellent job with that. Vortex Runner being one of those like eight mana uh, rewards. I like that a lot. Heated Debate, art on this is just excellent too. And the fact that it can't be countered, whew, that has messed me up a couple times. Spring Main Servant, that is more playable than it probably should be. Summoning. Eye Twitch. Man, that is a gross looking dude. Just look at that. He's got like he's got like fangs around his eye. Ugh. Symmetry Sage. Okay, so Symmetry Sage, I'm running in a uh blue-white Magecraft deck. It is nuts. Very good card. Last uncommon is Golden Ratio, which I have never gotten to go. It's fine, though. 
And wow, we got another mythic here. Jadzi, Oracle of Arcavios. That's a double-sided one. Journey to the Oracle. Wow, awesome. And our mystical archive is Snakeskin Veil. Love the snaky kind of art we got going there. Sweet. All right, let's go into pack four or five. Who knows? Let's see, though. Let's see. These packs are fairly easy to open, too, which more than can be said about some of the recent packs. All right. Excavated Wall, what a weird card. Like, I, I just don't know where this fits in. I see it in the Laurel decks, and I think someone was playing it in Curiosity this week, but just don't, I, I don't think it's very good. Exhilarating Elocution, great name, kind of mediocre card. Four mana for two, for two plus muscle counters and a pump. Eh. Maybe trying his onslaught, kind of premium removal right here. Star Pupil, he's like, oh hey, I want to like answer all the questions. Another curve. Serpentine curve is legitimately one of the best commons in the set, and I really enjoy playing that, especially when you can copy it. Oh my gosh. People are trying that in Curiosity too, which is really neat to see. Similarly to Leyline Invocation, if you can copy this, you got just a beater of a board. Flash of Malice, love that. Our lesson is Introduction to Annihilation. Definitely a fan of the art. Um, and being able to exile any non-land permanents and for only the cost of having your opponent draw a card, not bad at all. Woe Eater, uh, I'm tempted to try this in some sort of Abzan deck, so may try that later. Explosive Welcome, I undervalued this card, but my gosh, it can be so good. Then we got Divide by Zero, pretty good little counter. And our rare, Retriever Phoenix. Man, I'm a sucker for phoenixes, and this one is going to sucker me in. Because, like, it learns, and then you can get it back. Just what a good card. And we got Tezzeret's Gambit as our um, Fiscal Archive. Really cool. That Phyrexian mana. All right. Pop open this next one. has been pretty strong. You know what's not strong though? Silver Coil Pledge Mage. What a, that's kind of a meh, meh card. Needlethorn Drake, I dig it, has been a really good turn two option. Archway Commons, I was having a conversation with someone on the Discord today about this, how it is really good in three color decks, but in a two color deck, it is actively bad and works against you. Burrog Befuddler, Eh, it gets the job done, but is not something I'm excited to play. Slow Drop Warden, um, this has been a key part of those Prismari big spell decks, because you can just get something back. Crash Through, not my favorite art, but, um, or, excuse me, Charge Through. It's not bad. Arrogant Poet is a bit too arrogant for its own good. Two life for just giving it flying is not that good. Defend the campus, I really like the art on this. Um, lots going on, it's very like action focused scene. We get a better look at those mage hunters. Environmental sciences, this is what I said was gonna be the most played uh, common in Curiosity this season. Uh, I gotta go do the math on that, but I think I might be right. Wow, Professor of Symbology, what a, what a great creature you wanna blink. Right there. Carrick Wrangler. I've, I've gotten beaten by this card. It's pretty strong if you can get it going. Shadewing Gloria, another one where you kind of have to build around, but it's not bad. And our rare is Cayenne, Dean of Substance and Spice. And the back on her is Ibrahim, Dean of Theory. I like it. And we got Opt. Man, Opt is actually one of the cards I wanted most out of the Mystical Archive because I play it in a lot of my other decks. And this is just such, wow, love it. Oh, we also have a foil. We got a foil Arrogant Poet. Looking good right there. Sweet. <clears throat> right, let's see, 
let's see. This is pack six. Yeah, this is pack six. Dropping cards. I could need some good ASMR there with the uh, crackle packles. Spiteful Squad, this is one of the most disappointing cards in the set. It is four cost for a 2-2 with Death Touch and then it trades its counters. Not really what you want. Um, just generally not very strong and hard to make do. Alan Shield Mage though, love this. Five mana for a flying 3-3 three, three with a ward that you have to pay life for? Yes, love it. Spectre of the Fins is not going to see any standard or extended play, but this is a beater in limited. And I hope to see some people using it as a Wincon in Curiosity. Aegis Guardian, not bad. Resculpt, this is another take on the uh, uh, Raven form type of card where you can exile a target artifact or creature in blue, but then you give them a pretty decent body. Pigment Storm, really interesting take on burn. So I like playing with that. Big play, meh, meh. Now it's to Sector, not what I want to see. Fun little frog here on Expanded Anatomy. And moving into our uncommons, we got Decisive Denial. I like that. Pretty good counter. And Honor Troll for those life gain decks. Followed by Umbral Juke. Really like this. It's like two okay cards stapled into one. And a rare is Auric Allure Mage. Okay. Yeah, look at that guy. Not bad. Could see it having some decent um, graveyard builds. And we got Village Rites. Man, I love Village Rites too. Um, it's so much fun in some of those like sacrifice decks. Really powers out the decks. What else is pack number seven right here? I'm so glad that they do these bundles because it's like it's, it's just a great way to get cards and sort of build up a uh, a uh, like amount for for building decks. Even though you should just go by singles, but what do I know? Spectacle Mage really enjoy this card. Um, it's a fun take on the Goblin Electromancer type card. Um, it is not as good as that, I don't think, but um, on the whole, can really make stuff happen. Kyrick Archivist, I don't think I've ever played this, nor do I really plan to. Study Break is way better than it seems. The fact that you can tap creatures and then learn for only two mana, really strong. Reject, eh, not the best counter. It's very situational. Enthusiastic Study, not bad. You get to learn off of it. Same with Field Trip. I love this sad little frog though. He's like, why are you going? Why are you gonna sacrifice me, man? And then you get some pests. Arden Dust Speaker, uh, there have been a couple of takes on this recently. Um, there's a couple from Theros I can think of, but uh, this, is, this is probably the best one. It's not bad, I like it. Same with Lorehold Apprentice. All these apprentices are pretty interesting in their uh, functionality. Bookworm, though, man, he is eating up that literature. Really fun card to play with. And a rare here, Vanishing Verse. Man, this is just such a good sideboard card. Really good hate for Black White. Whoa, we got ourselves a Chaos Warp. Got a mythic there. Wow. Okay. Sweet. Take that any day of the week. Let's go to pack number eight. Yeah, Chaos Warp is, is a good get right there. Agiar Battle Seer. I've played this once, it has underperformed. All these campuses, though, these are just some of the best common lands they printed in a long while. Being able to scry uh, once you get enough mana, really good. 
really good ability there. Twin Scroll Shaman. I don't really think this is that good. Three mana for a 1-2 double strike. It's not really going to push through like you want it to. Scurry Colony. Probably the best squirrel printed in standard in a while. Uh, being able to be a 4-4 four, four, uh, as well as an early 2-2. Two, two, really good. Eager first year. They're so happy to be able to get those mage craft triggers off. I love it. Soothsayer Adept. Not really the best in this set because there's enough there's enough rummaging going on. Returned Pass Caller. Big fan of this. Getting a 6-mana six, a six 4-2 bird. Or excuse me, it's a spirit cleric. Um, just looks like a bird. Uh, they can get stuff out of your graveyard. What a good use of your mana there. Aether Helix, I've never really gotten this one to go off, but I really like the art, that's for sure. And Master Symmetrist. I love that this is a Rhino, and it's a pretty good card too. Or rare. Wandering Archaic. Man, I am such a big fan of this card. Uh, the fact that your opponent has to pay two more for all of their spells, for, for instance, sorceries at least, um, really can slow them down. This, this is something I really want to put into a Death and Taxes kind of build. Um, Shock Rub is cool. Archive Suite. But even the uh, the draw side of it is not that bad. The art is pretty good. But yeah, very happy about Wandering Archaic. Shock, excellent art right there. Two packs left. Two packs left. And again, if this is the kind of opening content that you want, you know, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, hit the bells, whatever. But mostly, just come hang out with us on our Discord. That's, that's where we're doing the, most of our growth. And uh, we really want to just talk to folks, talk about magic, talk about our cats. We're called Team Cat for a reason. Um, so we're glad to have you come hang out. Pop quiz, I think it's fizzling out. Let's see. Let's see if we can get anything spicy in this pack. Fractal summoning? Fractal summoning is... Uh, I just don't think it is as good as it probably could be. You gotta dump a ton of mana in that. And if people can kind of see it coming, you're, you're having a hard time with it. Show of Confidence, really good in some of the combo decks with it. Reconstruct History is something I want to play in like red-white control in Standard. Uh, it seems kind of hard to get going, but could be good. Containment Breach, not the best lesson, but it's okay. And bam, we get a land. Love it. Fury Calm Snarl. Not the biggest fan of these lands since you have to give out information to make them be good, but I'll take I'll take dual lands. There we go. Whirlwind Denial for our Mystical Archive. I love the art on this. Whirlwind Denial is kind of a meh card though. And whoa, we got a foil rare of culmination of studies. Alright. Very nice. Very nice. Have had some success with that card as well. Last pack team. Let's see. Let's hope that uh, Zimone gives us something good. They give us something good. Alright. Alright, so we're starting off with Silver Quill Pledge Mage. That's uh, it's fine. It's fine. Spectacle Mage. Dig it. I, so, one redeeming thing about Cogwork Archivist is it does have pretty cool art. I'm, I'm going to give it that. going to give it that. Throwing Discovery. Uh, I like the kind of take on the uh, thrill of Discovery or um, Tormenting Voices kind of thing. Guiding Voice, another one of the better learn cards. Arcane Subtraction, this is one, man, this is one of the most impactful uh, blue combat tricks in a while. Blood Age General, not bad. Treasure of Zoomancy, man, I would love to go learn about animals with this bear druid. Professor's Warning, she's like, hey, maybe don't do those things that you were thinking about doing. I'm going to warn you. Last common is Inkling Summoning, pretty good. 
Then we have reduced to memory. Not bad. Um, the fact that your opponent, or that the, that the controller gets a 3-2 spirit is kind of meh. Not bad. Tend the pests. I dig it. Have had a lot of success with the uh, Demogoth Titan and that. And solve the equation. A pretty good tutor. Pretty good tutor for three. And our last rare is Calling Ritual. Man, big fan of this card. If you can use this against Mono White Aggro in Standard or even the uh, token builds in Draft or Curiosity, you're, you're winning right there. And our last Mystical Archive is Compulsive Research. Very good. Very good. We'll take it. Why? Well, hey, uh, that was a pretty good opening. And that felt pretty good. And uh, again, you can come check us out on Twitch. Uh, all the Team Cat channels will be listed below in the description. And uh, yeah, hope you had a good time. I know I did. Again, this is Aquasword and Statutes, and uh, we'll see you around.